In this screencast, uh, we will talk about uh, how cloud computing may make it possible for sighted individuals to share their eyesight with blind and visually impaired people to enable them to operate in various dynamic and complex environments such as uh, supermarkets. So uh, uh, just, uh, let's start with some uh, background. Um, uh, the system that uh, we will be discussing uh, and experimenting with in this uh, screencast is um, uh, an extension of our Teleshop uh, system. Uh, that has been extensively covered in this channel in uh, previous screencasts. And uh, Teleshop consists of a server running on the visually impaired shopper's smartphone and a client uh, graphical user interface uh, running on the remote caregiver's computer or uh, cell phone. Uh, all client-server communication uh, occurs over uh, UDP uh, and either through Wi-Fi or 3G or 4G um, and some other uh, wireless uh, networks uh, and the caregiver can start, stop, and pause the incoming image stream uh, to change uh, and to change image resolution and uh, quality. Uh, so images of high resolution and quality provide more reliable detail, but may cause the video stream to become uh, choppy. And lower resolution images result in uh, smoother video streams, but uh, provide uh, less detail. And the pause option uh, can be used by the caregiver uh, for holding the current image on the uh, screen. Uh, so, um, in uh, this uh, screen, this is the teleshop architecture. As you can see, uh, so the uh, is to the right is the caregiver part, and to the left is the blind shop part. Uh, everything is done through uh, UDP. And although, uh, uh, so let's talk about uh, uh, cloud-based uh, caregiving uh, architecture. Um, so uh, let's start with a, a client. Uh, so we have a client and we have a caregiver. Um, and uh, then we need some uh, a cloud computing uh, service such as Amazon EC2 Elastic Computing Service, but it can be uh, uh, some other option. Then we have to uh, have a, a messaging service like C2DM. So the client um, uh, sends a request to the cloud. Uh, the request um, through the notification um, is um, forwarded to the uh, caregiver. Request can be, for example, an image of a product in a superstore uh, in a in a supermarket. So the caregiver takes care. So, for example, labels that request uh, through the uh, speech recognition uh, uh, service, or um, uh, by just typing the product's name in, uh, and then uh, the product back through the notification and messaging service uh, uh, is sent to the client. And we don't have to. Stay with one client caregiver pair. Um, there can be multiple clients and multiple uh, caregivers. Um, however, uh, each uh, client and uh, caregiver work in uh, pairs, so it, you, you can say that it is dedicated uh, caregiving. And uh, we have actually implemented and uh, tested it um, uh, in a supermarket. Um, so the experimental setup um, uh, was very simple. Uh, Mm, so we had a um, uh, uh, a blindfolded uh, shopper um, with a uh, cell phone, and then um, about a mile away uh, in an office, there was a sighted caregiver with another uh, smartphone. So um, this was a blindfolded uh, shopper in a supermarket. And um, that was the, uh, an office. And it was about one mile uh, apart. Uh, so the uh, shopper and the caregiver was about one mile, were about one mile apart. Mm. So on, and uh, uh, a blindfolded shopper would just take a uh, picture of a product in a supermarket, then uh, that picture uh, was wirelessly transmitted to the client uh, through the cloud. And uh, the client would just speak the name of the product and uh, send the text back to the shopper and the text uh, with the name of the product uh, would be TTS to the shopper. Um, and here's the uh, actual experiment. Mm. This is okay. uh, Zaman. Yeah, you can start. Mm. 
so he's going to take a picture of a product blue diamond nuts massive sent to helper waiting for the reply and the remote the caregiver yeah. uh, helper which is uh, who's not showing in this video he's going to take a look at that Okay, we'll continue with this.